So let's talk about England here, man. What a final we witnessed on Sunday. Italy, England, penalties. Such a frustrating ending. Yes, like, I mean, leading up to that, questionable decisions. You had some missed penalties from England. Donnarumma is just a beast in goal. Long story short, it did not come home. But today... We are avenging England. We are about to be taking over this national team for the next decade and trying to make it come home every tournament. And we're going to be avenging the players that missed the penalties. Saka, Rashford, and Jaden Sancho are going to be the three players specifically we are going to be targeting this episode to try to improve. All right, it wasn't their fault, right? They, they missed some pens. Yes, maybe Saka shouldn't have taken it. Like, maybe someone else should have stepped up a little bit more experienced. But let's be honest, in that big of a moment, it's just a tough one. And first off, we need to address all the abuse going to them. Come on, guys. Are you, are we really living in a world where people are abusing them for missing a penalty? Yo, this is the biggest stage in the world. The nerves, the pressure. You guys anyone abusing them giving any hate towards any of those three players for anything you are absolutely terrible human beings that just don't even deserve to be alive right now but yes it is time to accept this offer avenge those three players we are going to be playing every single international competition for the next decade and like I said, trying to make it come home every single every single year. And when I say focusing on those three players, we brought them all to Manchester United. We're not going to be focusing on United. I want to preface that. But I've brought them all to this club so that when we're not managing the national team, I can have them all on this club right here. We got Rashford at the left midfield. And to be honest, this is probably what we're going to end up going to have to do. Rashford is going to have to play more of a central midfield position. We are going to have to play Saka and then Sancho on those other two positions. And the only reason we have them all on this team is because Sancho and Rashford are basically already on United. And Saka, I just transferred over. And like I mentioned, they're on this team so we can train them up. These are the three main focal points of the episode. We got the chat rocking with us on Facebook Gaming. Link in the description if you guys want to join the streams. Drop a like on the video, man. Let's go for 10K likes as always. And we will we'll get you something special today if you guys like and subscribe. We're staying on the baby animal theme. That's what I've been doing lately. If you guys like and subscribe right now, all right, I'm going to offer you a deal. You like and subscribe, I return the favor by giving you a picture of a baby elephant, bro. Have you ever seen a baby elephant before? They're cute as hell, all right? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give it your way. Just do it like and subscribe. Cool. Has it been done? Awesome. Perfect. All right Here you go as promised No, nah, but on the real you guys know how much liking and subscribing helps to grow the channel So it would mean a lot also comments help massively too So even if all you have to say is hey B Ford it helps the channel grow So comment whatever you guys want literally anything. I'll, I'll look at all the comments today I want you guys to put just the weirdest thing possible you can in the comment section today. So like I said, these are the three main focal points of the video. So we're going to be training them every season. Marcus Rashford first. Jaden Sancho second, fitting in right at home here at United. And then Saka, who I'm a little bit worried about. I just hope he, I hope the man plays. I hope he's going to get playing time here because we have so many wingers on this United team. And it's now time to avenge England. But we got to get to the first competition, which is going to be the 2022 World Cup. So we got two seasons to sim. And then we'll be ready to hopefully make it come home with England. Here we are. We have made it. World Cup 2022. The best part, my favorite part, getting to choose who is actually going to be in the team. This is actually the most crucial part as well. And getting to see who grew. So obviously, Trent wasn't in the Euros. He's in our team this time. Wampazaka wasn't in the Euros. We're putting him in our team this time. Check this out. This is a massive one. Sancho grew to a 95. How ridiculous is that? Rashford grew to a 91. Isaka? Yes. All right. They've already selected him. That's phenomenal news. Harry Kane, 90. Grealish, 86. Danny Ings, Calvert-Lewin, Tommy Abraham. Is there anyone else we need to include? I think they might have already picked us. You know what? Here's one thing I want to do. I don't want to bring three goalkeepers. Two goalkeepers is fine in all honesty would i rather luke yeah let's bring luke shaw i think i want luke shaw to start over chill well not bringing kyle walker or anyone else i think the pool that we have selected right now is perfect the only one i'd maybe say is someone else for greenwood but um no i, I like greenwood i think he's gonna be someone that we need to keep at this team because we need to continue to like grow with him here we go into the world cup it is time and it looks like we got ourselves a pretty easy group to be fair all right here it is the group of death is probably this one group a belgium italy uruguay that one's actually already kicked off france scotland colombia mexico that's also another very difficult group 
Ours, on the other hand, is probably the easiest of them all. England, Ireland, Australia, and Chile. Brazil, Czech Republic, Poland, New Zealand, not bad. Netherlands, Wales, Denmark, Ivory Coast, not bad. Spain, Turkey, Canada, Egypt, yeah, pretty easy for Spain, but a few decent teams are there. Germany, Greece, China, Cameroon, easy for Germany. And then we end with Argentina, Russia, Sweden, and South Africa. We need to set expectations for this series. I personally think that with this team and with us playing the 2022 World Cup, 2024 Euros, 2026 World Cup, 2028 Euros, and 2030 World Cup, five competitions in total, we need to at least win two. We need to at least win two. It is time to make our biggest managerial decision maybe of the entire episode. And it's what is the formation that we're going to stick with with this team. And I don't think it's going to be this. Sancho at center back? N no. 4 through 3 attack. Old reliable, man. I honestly want to go with a more attacking formation. So Rashford on the left. And he's technically even out of position there, bro. You know what? It might even make sense for us to not use wingers. This is probably the smartest formation if I had to go with it. Yes, this is 100% the formation we're going to rock with. All right, the 4-5-1 attack. This is the formation that I had on with Manchester United, actually. It's going to look a little something like this. Henderson, Gomez, Stones. I'm going to try to play wan on the left because I, I don't think in career mode, it really matters what side the fullbacks play on. He should be good over there. Worst case scenario, we'll just put in Luke Shaw. Rashford, Madison, Kane, the only thing is we don't have a true central midfielder. That's one thing that England just, they just don't have. So we'll have to just keep Henderson all alone. I wish I could, this just leaves so much space open in the middle. Imagine we could do that. And then could we, is this, is this, you guys know, you guys know me. You, I like love just putting together the weirdest formations ever. Is that, is this a doable formation? <laughs> Look at this, man. Here's the thing. We are going to be allowed to switch up the formation as we go. So if it doesn't work for this tournament, we could always move it around. It's a 4-5-1 attack, but with Henderson pushed back the CDM and the cams just playing a little bit more central. All right, World Cup number one. Here it is. Let's get through this group stage because this should be three quick and easy wins. There's one. Chile, match number two in the group stage. Should be another very quick win, and it is in Ireland. Poor Ireland. What do we have? An injury? Or is it a red card? It's probably... Oh, Harry Kane. No. Oh, man. I didn't I didn't get to see... Let's... Let's... I guess we could look right now. How serious of an injury is this? Two months. Oh, my God. We've just lost Kane for the rest of the tournament. That's a massive loss. At least... Yeah, it's going to have to be Calvert-Lewin. Danny Ings is going to be the backup replacement for Danny Ings or Tommy Abraham after Calvert-Lewin. Man, that is huge. All right, I'll take Calvert-Lewin, but we lose pretty much one of our highest rated players. And we end the group stage with the win. And Calvert-Lewin, hey, actually getting involved with two goals. Let's go. Check this out. This round of 16 draw could not have been better. Shout out first for New Zealand for making it to the round of 16. That is a bit mad. How the hell did they make it, man? So Australia and England come out of our group. Italy, Belgium, France, Mexico. Brazil and New Zealand, bro. New Zealand. Shout out, I forgot any New Zealand viewers. You guys are legends for making it out of that group. That is crazy. Beating freaking Lewandowski. Madness. Wales in depth. The Netherlands doesn't make it out. Oh my God. What a crazy tournament this is going to turn out to be. Sorry, New Zealand. We got to do it to you, though. We got to we gotta hand you this L right here. I'm sorry. Just... Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, oh my god. Not nah, England. We're not going to start like this, are we? We're not going to start like this, man. Uh, is this how this... You know what? I, I think the entire history of English football has just flashed in front of my eyes. I'm American. Is this what it's like to be an English football fan? It, it, is this what it's like? I know you guys just made it to the final. I know you guys maybe deserve to win that. This is unacceptable, though. Oh my god. How have they just lost to New Zealand? At the very least, if we're going to lose to New Zealand, I hope I hope for, for the sake of this game, they go on to win the tournament. Of course they're not. Who's it going to be? It's going to be Italy. Dude, they win the, the Euros and now the World Cup too. Oh my God, dude. Literally the worst start we could have had. I do not know how that just happened. I'm still in shock. New Zealand beat us, man. We got a lot of work to do to rebuild this team. Neymar was the top goal scorer. Insigne Hazard, Calvert-Lewin actually came in clutch after the Kane injury. But, I mean, what a brutal start. On to the 2024 Euros, I guess. Boom, I what a competition this will be. 
Especially after the Euros in 2020. Well, the Euros that just happened in real life is what I'm trying to say. This would be big to win. They now have to avenge that. And also, they have to avenge that loss to New Zealand last year. Because that was brutal. Now, here are the groups. France, Spain, Hungary, or Russia. Hungary. Yeah, Hungary, Russia. Italy, England, Denmark, Norway. Uh, Northern Ireland. Not Norway. Northern Ireland. Belgium, Ireland, Greece, and Austria. And then Netherlands, Germany, Wales, and Switzerland. All of these, to be fair, are pretty difficult groups, minus this one right here. No, I joined, or how am I, how do I, how am I meant to say this? I didn't get to choose, I didn't get to pick the squad this time around. It, I simmed too late, I simmed past the squad selection date, so we're stuck with the team that they have given us, and here it is. Kane, back, obviously, from injury after, I mean, that was two years ago, obviously, he's back from injury. Saka's up to an 89, Sancho up to a 96, and Rashford to a 94, fought in 91, Declan Rice... All right, he's going to be perfect there. Who else knew got the call up? Let's see. In oh, Man. Inketia? Or it, the end's probably silent, right? Keita? Is that just how you say it? Ketia? I The Arsenal man, I believe. I'm probably butchering that. Stone's still on the team. Tamori. Who are our center backs going to be? Maguire and Gomez. Okay, Maguire wasn't starting in our last World Cup, but he's in the starting 11 now. I'm going to do what I did last tournament. I'm going to start... I'm going to start Wabasaki, even though... He plays on the right. I want these two 90-rated players on the back line. To be honest, this might be the starting 11 that we stick with the rest of the competition. It's going to be interesting to see. Kane will probably get phased out soon. I'm going to guess by next tournament, we might want Calvert-Lewin or Abraham in over him because he's going to start shrinking. Here we go, though. Let's let these group stage matchups begin and let's just knock them out super quick, super easy because we, we have a pretty easy group for the most part. There it is. Close one, but we win versus Northern Ireland. Yo, they're saying we should replace captaincy. Oh, this is for United. We don't need to, we need to worry about that. Um, yeah, they, they were saying, who is our captain though, actually? Kane is the England captain. You know what? I'll keep it. He's probably one of the old, he probably is the oldest player on the team. So we'll keep him there. This could be a tough one. Denmark. Let's go, man. Big win. Kane, Sancho, and Rice with goals. Last group stage game, the rematch of the century. Probably not the rematch of the century, but it's a big rematch nonetheless. Get England. This is for some sort of revenge. And they can't. Of course they can't, bro. We're still making it out of the group, and here's who we're playing. Who have they given us? Who have they given us? Second in the group, England. Oh my god, it's, they're making it so dramatic. France. Right. That is the worst. Oh my god. Right. France won their group. Spain, Italy, England, Belgium, Ireland making it out. Shout out to Ireland. If we couldn't make it past New Zealand in the first round of the knockout stages last tournament, how were we meant to make it past France? Especially, too, like, our team isn't fully fit, and people were yelling at me. Yeah, that might have been one of the reasons we lost Italy. We didn't have our highest-rated keeper in. Of course, man, the, you already know the YouTube comments were probably spamming already. B4, you idiot. Why did you not play Henderson in goal? You're so dumb. Well, he's in now, so shut up. We're still in it. Maybe that would have helped us beat Italy, but probably not. Dude, oh my god, we can't lose this. We can't. We can't lose this. Come on, man, please. Yes, let's go, man. Oh my god, what a win. Come on, Graylish comes off the bench, scores one. Kane gets a goal. We somehow lose to New Zealand, but beat France. This game makes no sense. In our next matchup, who is it going to be? Belgium. At this point, we've beaten France. We should be able to beat anyone. Semifinals versus Belgium. On the other half of the... Other half, it's Italy and Germany. So we may end up getting that Italy rematch again. I don't want to change anything. I'm just too nervous to change anything. This team has stuck with us the whole way. The Henderson move probably helped. Here it is. England against Belgium. I swear we have the better team. They may have De Bruyne and Courtois. Those are probably the only two better players they have than us. Here it is. England, Belgium, please send us to the final. Yes, we're in the final, boys. Rashford with the game winner. And it all comes down to this. Oh my God, imagine it's Italy. Imagine it's Italy. I have a feeling it's going to be. It's Germany in the final. Here we go. We got to make it. Uh, what did I say? I wanted at least two trophies this episode. This would be insane if we could win our first in the second competition. England, Germany for Euro 2024. Let it come home. And it has, boys. Let's go. Rashford Kane again. 
Come on, the redemption has been made at least one time. England, your 2024 European Championship champions. Let's go, let's go, let's go, boys. Come on, let's freaking go. And what does that mean? Who is the top goal scorer? Who is proving themselves here in this first it's coming home victory. We'll just call it that. It's came home. It is Kane who helped it come home along with Sancho Rashford getting involved. All right, man. We've won the Euros once. Now all that we have left is the World Cup. Boom, I just been World Cup 2026. It is time to let it come home again. We've done the Euros. World Cup time. So we got the World Cup. We got another Euro. And then we got the World Cup again. So three competitions left. Let's see what this English team's looking like. This is a massive one. Trent Alexander-Arnold. We are we... Are we even going to be able to call him up at all? I feel like... Oh, how long is this injury? I wish it doesn't tell you. It doesn't tell you he has an injury, but it doesn't tell you how long he's going to be out for. I feel like I shouldn't risk it. Nah, I mean, do I really need another spot? Dude, we have a lot of center backs. I almost want to... I am going to risk it. Where you will bring... I don't want to bring Sessegnon. I want to bring Reese James. Let's do that. I'm risking it and bringing Trent. How about the rest of this team? So Harry Kane... I guess retired or what? Nope. He must have retired because he's not here at all, man. Wow, he was 90 overall last tournament, wasn't he? That's crazy. He either shrunk a ton. He's just gone, dude. We kind of need Hudson Adoy in here. Low key. We got a lot of cams. I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna not bring Brewster and I'm going to bring Hudson Adoy over. Bre Two strikers is risky. Oh, no, there is Kane. I'm... <laughs> oh, no, Bro. no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just... I'm an idiot. The positions weren't sorted, so I just saw the two strikers at the bottom. Oh, my... <laughs> Dude, I need... Let me get some glasses real quick. Hold up. Okay, right. Kane in. Declan... You know what? We're keeping this. Let's just, let's just, let's just rock with... It. Oh, no, he's injured. Oh, so we can't take him because he's injured. Rip. All right, you know what? Screw it, man. This is, can we just start this? Here it is, man. The World Cup. I'm keeping these glasses on the whole tournament. I'm doing it, man. I, I, I need these on so I don't miss any more players that should be in the starting 11. Here we go. Netherlands, Czech Republic. We got a, we got a pretty easy group. I like what I'm seeing there. France, Bulgaria, Argentina. Okay. Wow. Where are the group of deaths at? It's literally not like a single group of death. Maybe this one. Maybe group H. Damn, did I not, did I not call up Bellingham? Hmm. Yeah, he must have just not been high enough rated, man. I, t I brought I brought the highest rated available players to this tournament. All right, that's, that's what I did. We brought the highest available rated players to the tournament, and it yeah, Bellingham might be one that hopefully he keeps growing and we can get him for next tournament. It's a pretty similar starting eleven to the last tournament, minus 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 Trent. That's about it for the starting eleven. Yeah, Trent's the only one we've kind of left out. Can you guys take me serious in these glasses? Because I can't take myself serious. Here we go. FIFA World Cup. Let's let it begin. We have the highest rated keeper in, right? Henderson was our highest rated keeper. I hope. Did I mess it? Did I, did I miss it? Nah, dude. We got the glasses on. I'm not missing anything this time around. England, Canada. Alfonso Davies and Jonathan David. Oh, man. Wow. That was, that was way too close. Uruguay, England. This is the big one. We get past Uruguay here, and we should be good to tap the group. Okay, you know what? Actually, we can afford a draw there. The only thing in that is now is we need a massive win against Romania. Yo, this one actually might be tough. We need a big win for gold differential. That's the only way we go through now. It's probably going to be on gold differential. Here it is. Romania, England. Come on, man. Kane, put up like a hat trick or something. We need you, brother. No! Are you kidding me, bro? How have we drawn Romania? Was there a chance? We made it out for sure still, right? Oh, no. Was there? Yes. Okay, good. Oh, okay. Oh, and Uruguay also drew, but again, gold differential. Still, I I, I, I can't take myself serious in these, man. I, I just can't. I, you guys probably can't either. Here's the thing, though. If I end up winning, if we end up winning this competition, I am going to have to wear these the rest of the video. Oh, God. I kind of hope we lose this first round game. I really do. Can this thing take any longer to load? Oh, my God. Oh, it's about freaking time. All right. Who are we going to get matched up against? Oh, man, this game is just, this is, oh, Netherlands. Okay, right, the Netherlands in the round of 16. Here's who's making it through. Czech Republic, Colombia gets knocked out. Dude, of course we haven't seen the U.S. in this at all yet. Dude, the, the U.S. is getting zero respect. Turkey tops Argentina. Wow, that's a bit of an unexpected one. Spain, bottom of the group. What? Italy through, Brazil and Belgium through. Here are your round of 16 matchups. 
Okay, let's do it. Very difficult one. No changes, man. I, I do... You guys got me on the Bellingham train. I really hope that Bellingham grows and we can start him over Rice for the next competition. Yep. Okay. You know what? I, at least I, I can take these off, man. <laughs> That is going to leave us with two tro two competitions left. We've got one more Euro and one more World Cup. We're still on track. We've gotten one win. I wanted two the entire episode, so it's still definitely doable. we got the win here, man. World Cup time. Fair enough. At least the team that we lost to ended up going through and winning it. Sweden made it to the semis. A Netherlands and Uruguay final. Fair play. Cursed in the World Cup, man. England, we just, we can't make it out of the round of 16, at least since we started. And the top goal scorer of the World Cup is for, well, it's Werner overall. Shout out to Timo Werner, man. Proving the haters wrong. Eight goals from a man, Werner. And, of course, we have, like, no one up here. Sancho scored two. All right, fair enough. 2028 World Cup. Let's get it. Come on, boys. All right. Let's hope we got some players who have grown a little bit and maybe make some, some changes to the team. Saka is injured. Nah, oh, man, you're kidding me. Right, that's very disappointing. So we can't bring Saka to this. Trent backfit, but Wamba Saka's overtaken him. Wamba Saka's actually higher rated. Henderson, 86 overall. Awesome. Okay, who do we have here? Ben White, Stones, Goodfree, Tamori, Sassignon. Look at that. 96 Rashford, 96 Sancho, 92 Foden. Now, Bellingham is in this time. So, Declan Rice is probably cut from the... No, Declan Rice is right there. Kane. Wow. Okay, Kane is still going to be our striker. How old is this man? What is he? 34. He's still starting for England. I'm sorry for the first time, man. I'm cutting Jack Grealish from the team. He just doesn't make it in. I wish we had some higher rated strikers. I wish. Calvert-Lewin or Abraham, they just didn't grow. They haven't grown since the last competition. All right, European Championship. Look at this group, man. Are you kidding me with this group? You're actually taking the piss, man. You're actually taking the piss. Okay. Out of all these groups. Oh, my God. Italy again. We're literally just haunted by Italy. Netherlands, Poland, too. That one's also difficult. Oh, my God. Look at the rivalry. Ireland and Northern Ireland in the same group, man. This is going to be a wild competition. All right. I think, I think we have something we need to do here, man. And it is going to involve this. First off, I don't know why they just don't always start Henderson. Juan Basaka on the left. Declan Rice is no more. We are making Bellingham the main man in the central midfield role. Sancho. Is Sancho going to be on the right? Yeah, because fold in there. Wow, Kane. Okay. Right, so Kane. I guess Kane's replaced. Calvert-Lewin up front. Wow. I thought he was 87. He must have dropped a lot since we simmed past the squad selection. We got to play Sancho on the right since Sokka's injured and not able to play in this competition. This is, I guess, I guess this is, this dude is English. Wait, what? Fair play. He's grown a ton. I guess, would I rather start him or Mount? I low key, I, hmm, I want to start Mount in this one. I'm going to give it to, I'm going to give it to Mason Mount. There is now a realistic chance that we could get grouped. So we need to take full advantage of these games. Oh my God. Italy again. Oh my goodness. Yes. Let's go. Come on, man. Italy suck it that's the that's the start we needed boys that's legitimately the best freaking start we could have asked for now with this one right here it's another one where we need to win and if we win this one we should be confirmed through the group so far so good no injuries starting 11 is solid england dude we're winning this back-to-back -back euro wins confirmed incoming and now this doesn't even matter i guess it does for the oh my god dudes netherlands and italy might might both go out here could you imagine the absolute scenes if that happens? Oh my God, come on. Come on, big, you know what? That's fine. We still top the group. And I don't think the Netherlands went through or Italy. Did Poland come second? No. Rip. Oh, that's unfortunate. Right. Wait, what? South, is Southgate a woman? Did I make my manager a, wo a woman? Wow. Okay. I, why am I just now realizing that I made Garrett Southgate, but our manager is, it is I the girl you. version of Garrett Southgate, apparently. Looky, looky who it is, man. Who we're coming up against. Oh, not again. I mean, we beat him last time, so I guess we, re we really shouldn't be worried here. But I, it's just France, dude. You can't help but be scared when you have to play France. It's just so brutal. We top the group and we get France. Oh, God. All right, boys. God, and so many players are just not fit in this one. But I got to stay true to the, the starting 11 we picked. They're fit, but like look at our center backs. That could be, maybe I sub one of them out. What would I rather? An 85 rated on full fitness 
or an 87. You know what? I'll take the risk with the 87 and a little bit low fitness. All right. Come on. We've beaten him once. Let's do it again, man. Come on. Can we take down Mbappe again? No. No, we can't. We got one tournament left, boys, to make it come home for the second time. And it works out. You know, we didn't win this one. Of course, of course, Italy have to go on and win it. Who else? But it's set up perfect because we've already won the Euros. The last one. It's the last one. It's, it, it's it. This is it. This is for the 2030 World Cup. Dude, Timo Werner has been one of the players of every tournament. Dude, he's always up there amongst the top goal scorers. And then for us, it's only Foden with two. Let's go, man, to the squad submission screen. And here we go for the final competition. Who's about to make it? Good news. All right. Good news. First off, let's get rid of our secondary keeper. I keep forgetting to do that. I keep forgetting to... I only like to take two goalkeepers. We've got it this time. All right. No injuries, which is absolutely perfect. Uh, the center backs. We got some low-rated center backs, but Joe Gomez, Ben White still looking good. Sessegnon. All right. I mean, Sancho's still up there. This dude has not missed a beat, man. 30 years old. 96 overall. Rash for two. Foden. Saka back fit. Love to see that. Now, what are the strikers looking like? The lap. Oh, man. Who would have thought at this stage of the career mode that it would be the lap as the, the, the Man City man as our striker? I wonder what his club team is in real life. Of course, it's not going let to it, let us see from here. When I get a few more wingers in, I just like him on the bench. I, I, let's, let's call Harvey Elliott. I don't think we've used him yet in any of these competitions. Mount did not get the call up. Dude, we need more cams on this team. You know what you know, we have? We have an abundance of center backs, I feel like. No, we actually don't. We only have a few center backs. I am going. No, no, we, we can afford to do it. Let's, we got to get Mount in. I'm surprised they didn't. Mount wasn't one of the first people up. RV Barnes out for Hudson Adoy. And I think we are going to stick with this. Let the World Cup begin. Here is our group. England, Norway, Austria, and Uruguay. I would say I'm pretty happy with this one. And... All right, this is what we need. We should have been paying a closer look at this throughout the entire video, but we will, if we win the group, we'll play the second place team in this group. So I'm liking our chances as long as Portugal doesn't finish second. I think we should finish first very easily. France, Scotland, New Zealand, Colombia. Dude, don't let us play New Zealand again. Anything but New Zealand. Argentina, Italy, Turkey, India, Germany, Sweden, Russia, Cameroon, Netherlands, Czech Republic, USA finally makes it. It's South America. Then we got Spain, Northern Ireland, Australia, Egypt, Brazil, Poland, Hungary, Ivory Coast. All right, we're back. We got everyone fit. Foden in. This is the team. This is the team that's going to win us something, man. It has to be it. Yeah, with uh, Saka back, that moves Sancho back up to Cam. And that pushes Mount back into the reserves. We'll throw Hudson Adoy. Kind of want to play Hudson Adoy off the bench. Man, this team's good. Come on, boys. This is it. For the final competition, let's go as quick as we can. Game one England against Austria. And it is a win. Let's go. What a start. Uruguay, this is probably the toughest one. Although I think I just saw that Norway won both of their matches so far. And so have we. This is it for the group, man. And we got to come up against Holland, I'm guessing. Yep, of course. Holland's probably like 97 rated, I, I would have to guess. Yes, let's go. And we take him down, boys. We're top of the group. And I'm guessing Mexico is the team that we're going to be playing. Mexico is the team. Okay, I, I like that. That means Portugal probably topped it. Dude, oh my god, I do not, if anyone, man, but Mexico. Mexico already haunts me enough as an American fan. I don't want them to haunt me now as me playing for England. And the U.S. also made it through. Let's go. Here it is, boys. It, it could genuinely end at any moment right now. Come on, man. We've made it so far. Let's keep this run going. We need a World Cup win. Oh my god, in extra time, we take down Mexico. Up next, oh god. Argentina. At least we're not going to have to come up against Messi because he's surely retired by this point. Whole starting 11 still is looking great, man. Everyone is back to full fitness, so we're chilling there. Who has remained? Russia ended up beating the U.S., man. Rip to the U.S. Russia, Spain, Portugal, Turkey, Netherlands, and Brazil. Oh, man, I wonder who's on this Argentinian team in the year 2030. Martinez, De La Vega, Almada. Okay, we definitely, we definitely have the better team. I know I can't see the ratings for Argentina, but I just have the feeling we have a way better squad. But will it translate? No. No. Penalties, bro. Penalties! I hate that, bro. Oh, my God. Sancho was the last one to miss as well. 
No. <laughs> These playthroughs are so Turkey won the World Cup, bro. What? <laughs> Turkey. Fair play. Oh my god. No, that's actually mad. All right. I mean, I don't know how Turkey was better than us. That is crazy, dudes. These, you don't understand. It's so hard to win the uh, international competitions. At least we got one. At the very least, we made it come home one time. There it is, boys. We'll take it. One out of five international competitions won. It's, it's the best we could do. It really is. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to see more of these international playthroughs, let me know. Comment section. We can bring them to you guys. That's going to do it for the episode, though. I really appreciate you guys watching. And with that, we will catch you guys later. Peace.